Sup, it's your bottomless pit right back at you, big pink puffball fan savvy. July marks my birthday, and there's nothing more I want to do than talk about my most beloved, cherished, close to my heart character, Kirby. So why do me and so many other people love this character? Let's take it back to the beginning. Poppy Sakurai birthed Kirby during his deployment with HAL Laboratories. The blob look was supposed to be a placeholder for when the game was titled Twinkle Popo. As Sakurai grew more fond of the design, it became the main look. Sakurai does not remember where the name came from, but there are two ideas where it originated from. One, Kirby's company that manufactures vacuums, so that would tie in Kirby's sucking abilities. The other, I'm sure most people have heard, John Kirby, the lawyer that helped Nintendo during its lawsuit with Universal over similarities over Donkey Kong and King Kong. Kirby has appeared in over 30 games since his debut, its own anime and a manga. Kirby has proven to be a long-lasting series for Nintendo and has stood the test of time unlike some characters. Okay, so Kirby hails from Planet Popstar and his main ability is inhaling. If an opponent has a sword and Kirby inhales it, Kirby will become Sword Kirby. Fire enemy equals Fire Kirby. Kirby, pretty straightforward stuff here. It's what makes Kirby, Kirby. Kirby is depicted with a positive, overly helpful, friendly childlike attitude. Kirby's biggest flaw is that he's a glutton. He will over inhale and eat everything. Yeah, Kirby is cute, but the fact that Kirby really is just no thoughts and just vibes, it's what makes me enjoy this character so much. Kirby games aren't the most challenging things out there. If you're expecting something difficult like Souls games, yeah, this isn't it, pal. Kirby games are known for being easy. You could really go the whole game losing one, maybe two lives or none at all. These games are platformers and Nintendo staple, but what makes it stand out is the copy abilities. The player is never limited to just one ability. Kirby can eject ability and inhale another. Shit, in Kirby 64, the crystal shards, Kirby can combine abilities to make unique abilities. My favorite ones are Yo-Yo and UFO. The Kirby series is straightforward and the plot isn't different. Kirby fights to protect his home, a kingdom, or whatever from a variety of threats. The lovable goof that is King DDD, the misunderstood Midnight, Knight, and from these cute little guys, Marks and Magvor. Aw, these guys seem harmless and match the series colorful cute designs. Haha, that's where you're wrong. These muffles are evil and the scariest shit I've ever seen. Mark's his cute looking gesture thing, but then look at his winged form, it's nightmare fuel. Now look at Magalar. Aw, this could be a plush, right? No, then look at his possessed form. Again, nightmare fuel. That is one thing Kirby games are good at. The antagonists look so innocent and goofy, and then whatever item they're after corrupts the fucking shit out of them become these wild things. Some bosses straight up just look like that. Zero Two from Crystal Shards is this biblically accurate looking angel eyeball, or even Void Soul from Kirby Star Alley. And weirdly enough looks like Kirby, it's the empty eyes man that gets me. It's really odd that this cute, colorful, easy ass games are connected to such creepy looking bosses. One of my favorite things about Kirby games is the dancing. Kirby can like multiply and dances to this catchy ass song after the completion of a level. The music in Kirby game is on par to anything that Mario and Zelda games produce. It's amazing music, it's something you've been hearing throughout this video. I have played most Kirby games, Superstar and Superstar Ultra are classics, and enjoy to go back to from time to time. Epic Garn was way too easy for a Kirby game but still fun as hell. Return to Dreamland is a must play, but the one that sticks out to me is Squeeze Squad. The abilities were a lot of fun, 8 worlds to explore that take inspiration from Mario games. Did you know? The game displayed a cute message for you on your birthday, the recurring boss was you would so that is in every single fuck and Kirby game does not appear in this game, or the longest time without a Kirby game was between Squeeze Squad and Epic Yarn, 3 years, 10 months, and 13 days. The plot is pretty goofy. Someone steals Kirby's strawberry shortcake and he's out for fucking blood. Rat blood. Man, I love Squeeze Squad. There is one more thing that pushed my love for Kirby that was not a game, but the anime. Kirby right back at ya. I watched the living hell out of the show whenever it aired. It puts Kirby, King DDD, Meta Knight, Escar Goon, haha, get it, Tiff and Tuff in these goofy ass situations. There's a whole ass episode where they explain and showcase how to make an episode. King DDD has his weird Jersey, New York tough guy voice that just cracks me up. Reading, your highness. I ain't never owned a book with the author's own handwriting scribbled down inside it. Have you ever seen this meme before of Kirby falling with different sounds? That comes from this anime. It's still a Monster of the Week show, Kirby has a magical girl sequence that shows off the copy ability of that week and take down whatever enemy. The theme song, the 4Kids theme, number one anime opening of all time. Take a listen. Don't be fooled by his size, you won't believe your eyes, what a bar man. God, I miss unique English dub anime openings so much. Yeah, Kirby's our one and only true savior. Kirby has defeated countless demons and probably continue to do so for many more years. For me, it's just simple things about Kirby that I enjoy. Empty head, just food in the mind, always down to throw down for his homies. Despite not talking, Kirby is a thousand times more expressive than some characters. Yeah, I'm talking about Tears of the Kingdom Link. Be more like Wind Waker Link and make some weird ass faces, dude. Kirby has and will always be one 
one of my favorite Nintendo characters. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Smash Bros. video where I talk about Poppy Sakurai way more. This is Savvy, and this has been The Vibes. Laters!